Before the graduands are presented individually to the Chancellor, Mr. Shell Sadowski, a member of the graduating class, will address convocation. Shell completed the Mechatronic Systems Engineering program this August. During his time at SFU, he volunteered his time with the Student Ambassador Program, along with his departmental student union, the Mechatronic Systems Engineering Student Society. For the first two years in the society, he acted as the Vice President of External Relations, and he also held the position in his last year of President of the Society. Following graduation, Shell plans to work in the field of industrial automation or wind energy. It's now my great pleasure to call upon Mr. Shell Sadowski for the graduate address. Shell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see, how's this? Okay. I really must say that it is an amazing honor to address all of you as a convocation speaker on one of the most memorable days of our exciting lives. When I answered my phone four weeks ago and Dr. Walker was on the other end of the line to tell me that I would have this opportunity, my heart rate spiked. I even had to step outside my office to get some fresh air and to work off the adrenaline that just was pumping through my veins. I think that if I was 40 years older, such an occurrence would earn me a quick trip to an emergency ward. <laughs> Good morning, Honorable Chancellor, President Petter, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, fellow classmates, and all the other wonderful people here today to witness this event of celebration. Thank you for being here. To my fellow classmates, I ask you to take a step back in time and put yourself in the position of your former selves when you first started your academic career. When you were that age, probably four or five years old, the world was an exciting and big place you had so much to look forward to, and your first day of school was your first step out into the big world. There were so many opportunities to do many exciting things, kids to meet, toys to play with, and things to learn. After that first step, you would take another and another after that. You would start with kindergarten, you would go through elementary school, tough things out through middle and or high school, and finally move on to university. That would eventually be an end, there would eventually be an end to this whole process, but that idea could not be more real than at this point in time. At this moment, we all stand before years of our hard work and determination. We will be handed a piece of paper in recognition of it. However, it is not the piece of paper that is our reward. This piece of paper is only a symbol of the reward to everyone else other than ourselves. Our reward is the collection of the four, five, or six years of intense experience that has shaped our minds into the states they are in now. This experience will help guide each and every one of us to the places many of us have dreamed of going, or even to the ones we haven't thought of yet. Regardless, you all have come so far from your early school days where life was exciting because your mom or dad packed you pudding for lunch, you traded Pokemon cards, or played Oregon Trail on boxy-shaped Macs. I think we expect that when we grow up, it's time to leave the kid things behind and move on to, to bigger and better things. But really, this is not true at all. We were all kids once, and realistically, we still are. It was your hands that dug in the dirt or tagged your friends in the playground. Your heart was still, uh, your heart beats the same way it did back then. No differently now, no differently in the future. With the drive of your young self and your experience now, you can do anything. The experiences you have gained up to this point and the enthusiasm and persistence that is so present in all of you will lead us forward to create the change that the world needs, however it may come. And the world is a big place, and I'm sure many of you will feel lost in the endless possibilities. However, be thankful that this is so, because if the world were small, I think you would probably feel disappointed from the lack of opportunity. 
than, other than, rather than being, feeling overwhelmed from the abundance of it. Look back on your time in university with a light heart. For all of the all-nighters, assignments handed in one minute before the deadline, and failed midterms and exams were just experiences that helped you shape who you are today. It is your successes that you will be most proud of, and it was your failures that helped you create them. In closing, I'm not going to challenge you to change the world, because I already know that you will do it. You will do it with the enthusiasm of your young selves, with the persistence and work ethic that brought you to this point of achievement, and with the experience of the events from along the way. Most importantly, though, I know we will change the world together. So to all of you sitting here today, eager to go out in the big world and start making your difference and engaging with new opportunities, feel good, be excited. You're gonna take your next great leap. It's like getting ready for the first day of elementary school again. Except this time, we'll take the first step out the door wearing blue. Congratulations, guys, and thank you very much.